I am leaving my house for the first time in a week and um, you're gonna you're gonna come with me so last week there was a snowstorm in the city of Buffalo New York where I happen to live I'm not sure where or why I decided to live in a place where I get five feet of snow at a time but since there was a snowstorm I was in fact snowed in because I was snowed in I obviously didn't go anywhere how being snowed in works after we were done being snowed in um, I just refused to go anywhere because I didn't have a need and now it's been a week since I've left my house the longer I stay in the house the more my anxiety tells me that something bad is happening outside and I shouldn't be there so I have to force myself to go outside I need my boots oh why am I freaking out so bad I am not freaking out <laughs> I'm working myself up a little bit, but here's the game plan. The game plan is one, I put on my boots. Two, I put on the Sailor Moon sweater. Three, I put on another sweater because I refuse to wear a coat despite it being like 30 degrees outside. Then I get in the car, we drive to Target, pick up things from Target. I love Target, it's a good spot. I love it, nothing ever bad happens at a Target. After I do the hard task of being outside in the open, I'm gonna get myself a little treat. Hey Alexa, play these boots were made for walking. Like, please Sinclair, don't put that in the video. <laughs> but no, for real, like, aren't these boots fucking rad? Aren't they rad? They're Doc Martens and they're platforms and they have this little zippy. Eee! I love a good zippy. It's so dark outside and that's kind of the reason why I also don't want to go. Why is it getting dark at 5 p.m.? Who is benefiting from this now? I'm gonna write a strongly worded letter. Well, I'm not really sure to who, but that's not the point. It's gonna be strongly worded and it is going to say, excuse you, sir or ma'am, whoever's in charge of this establishment. Um, some of us have seasonal depression. Some of us have regular depression that gets worsened by seasonal depression. Like, don't you think it would be a kind thing, my good sir or madam, um, or whatever, whatever you prefer, who knows who's in charge. Um, to maybe not make it get dark at 5 p.m. Like, that makes no sense to me. I've made it to Target. There goes the big red building. Um, I distracted myself mostly with songs in the car. I only had like a small breakdown about not wanting to do it. So now what I actually came here for, which was a bunch of frozen fruit for smoothies. So I am going to try kombucha for the first time. I've never had it, but apparently it's really good for your gut. I picked up these bottles. Hopefully it's good. I Hopefully it's good. I don't know. I feel like it's not really a trip to Target unless I take a couple of minutes and glance longingly at notebooks that I do not need. I did it. Hold your applause, hold your applause. That was so hard for me for some reason in the beginning. The neurodivergent is a funky little th thing that like I'm always trying my best to kind of circumvent. But yeah, I did it, and now I'm going to treat myself to a little smoothie. But first, let's do a taste test. Okay, so I have two options. I have mango lime, and I have pineapple peach. Shake, 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 senora, shake your body line. Oh, I'm nervous, but hey, we were nervous about going to the store, and we did it, so like, look, look what happens when we leave our comfort zone. Oh, 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 I get the feeling I should not have shook in it. It smells kind of like beer. <laughs> I'm scared now. I hate beer. To leaving our comfort zone. Why is it spicy? I don't know why, but I wasn't expecting it to be carbonated. 
terrible, but would I drink this like for funsies? I don't know. Well, that was a fun experience. The kombucha was fun, but I want my smoothie. <laughs> Never mind. There's a bunch of stuff where the smoothies usually get made. I don't know if I want to do all that. <sighs> Fuck. I got, now I gotta clean. Oh my god. <sighs> Good morning. Last night after I got home, I got so tired after um, going out for my outing that like I ended up just passing out. And like, that's the absolute like insane part to me that like my mental health will physically impact my body sometimes I forget that that like if I if I have had a high anxiety day that like my physical body is so tired after I've had like my high anxiety that it's like I can't really do anything but sleep I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna make this smoothie and I'm going to enjoy it yes we're gonna enjoy the fruits of my labor from yesterday I should also maybe brush my hair but that that's a later me problem one thing at a time Okay, so overall, I'm really happy that I went out yesterday. I actually have to go out today for a photo shoot, so I'm nervous. But at least now all of like my crazy anxiety is gone because like I know I can do the thing. I'm really happy that I went out, even if it was scary, even if I kind of didn't like it, even if I maybe had a little breakdown when I got back home. It doesn't matter. The point is, is that I still left my comfort zone, and that's really all that I can ask of myself. So I'm gonna have a wonderful day. I hope you also have a wonderful day. Love you, bye.